Мама родная. Палеонтологист Сергей Лешинский is on a mission to salvage precious prehistoric remains. Кошмар. Ах ты, Поле Полюшка, кто же усеял тебя мертвыми костями? 30,000-year-old bones lay strewn across Russia's remote Yakutia region. They were dug up and discarded by mammoth tusk hunters, looking to make a fortune on ancient ivory. The remains of other prehistoric animals like horses and bison are of little interest. Mammoth tusk hunters extracted more than 120 tons of ivory from Yakutia in 2017. It is dirty and dangerous work. The last mammoths died out around 4,000 years ago, but the remains are well preserved in Yakutia's permafrost. The soil here stays frozen year-round, and hunters melt it by blasting it with water cannons. This rhinoceros horn will sell for up to $45,000. About 90% of the tusks and horns are exported to China, where the price will soar. But all of this comes at a high environmental cost. A web of hoses litters the scarred landscape. The use of water jets fills rivers with silt affecting fish stocks, and precious clues about the Earth's prehistoric past are destroyed. Шоковое, конечно, состояние. Вот, то есть потеряны многие страницы палеонтологической летописи. Те остатки, которые уже выпали или вымыты из геологических слоев, они могут представлять интерес только как вот единицы. Если бы она была найдена в слое, информации мы получили в десять десятки, там, в сотни раз больше. Те условия, в которых это залегало, как погибли животные, почему они погибли. Ну вот эта вся информация погибла просто без возврата. Paleontologists are able to collect some data and animal remains by exploring caves left by the mammoth tusk hunters. They also bargain with hunters to buy rare prehistoric items. Действительно, они варварским способом размывают стенки и ручья. С другой стороны, если бы не эти местные жители, которые ищут бивни, у нас не было бы подавляющее большинство уникальных находок. A federal law has banned the use of water pumps to strip the land, but it's rarely enforced. In this poor region, mammoth tusk hunting is one of the few ways locals can earn a living. Sergei Lashinsky says authorities need to do more to save this unique natural region. He wants mammoth tusk hunting tightly regulated. If we can't do this, then we don't need to do it. Let it remain our children, who can do it, and that's it. But in this economically depressed in this economically depressed region, the lure of financial fortune continues to drive the destruction of the prehistoric past.